Well, I'm Drew Hudgens, I run for District 10, which is the Royal District. It's the simplest way of putting that out west of town. Um, uh, qualifications, I guess. Um, mainly for me, I was not real sure about this, this position, but I had numerous people within my district and, uh, and a couple of uh, JPs came to me and, and asked me to run. And, uh, you know, in January I told them no, and with two days left to file, <laughs> they said there's nobody else. I said, sure. Uh, that ended up turning into a, a, a big campaign. Uh, Tony uh, was in the primary back there, and uh, uh, we got to be good friends during that. But, uh, you know, we, we had that, that primary, now we got the general election. It ended up being a lot of campaigning, but that's been very good because we've been out there meeting a lot of people, doing a lot of door knocking, um, and that's been very good. And uh, um, I guess what I always ask um, is where any candidate, where, what, what principles or what, um, who are they following? And I guess uh, for me, I, I think to Bob McCune. Bob McCune spoke up here uh, out by the village the other day. Bob McCune has a very simple uh, way of explaining politics. He says politics is easy as pie. Uh, so politics equals integrity plus economics. So first off, integrity. Can you believe the candidate? Can you trust them? Um, you know, are they going to be uh, keep? You know, are, are they going to be double-minded? You know, or are they going to uh, stick to what they tell you? Um, and, and I hope I've shown that to District 10 uh, with my integrity. And then secondly, economics. And uh, a lot of people say, you know, how can the government uh, help with economics? And I, I prefer to, you know, they stay out of it. You know, I believe in the free enterprise system. And that's uh, that's what I believe America was based on, and uh, and so that's a little bit about me. Oh, okay, we do have a question. We do have a question. So here's the question. Okay, what are your feelings on dog immunizations, registrations, etc.? Should we be using county funds for this? Okay. Well, yes, we we had this come up back a couple of months ago, and uh, um, one aspect of what the county did I really like. They went out and and got private money for this or asked for donations, and there are, are a lot of people in the county that that are, uh, you know, concerned with our our, our pets and having them uh, having all their shots. Um, the the part that I would like to see changed if we if this ever happens again is is um, those shots were free uh, to everyone who brought their pets in and. Um, I believe that those individuals should have to to pay something for that. If, it, if you know half the money is raised and, and half of it is, you know, paid by by the person getting the service, I believe that would be a lot better way to handle that, in my opinion. Um, so. All right. Well, you've got exactly one minute and a half to close it out. Tell everybody else uh, um, uh, a little bit more about yourself. Do you have a question? All right. We have a question. Got to be quick though. I know that you have high integrity. I know that you have strong religious convictions and constitutional convictions. I'm not saying that you wouldn't use them, but I know that the people who surround you, the people that are on the quorum court, that are your friends, have been on there longer. And I would hope that you would be willing to make the statement, because if you make it, I know you'll mean it, that you are not going to be swayed by them just because they have a certain way to use it. Usually, a person follows his or her mentor, and uh, I would prefer to hear that you're going to stand on your own and learn what you need to learn to make your own decisions. Would that be true? Uh, correct. I mean, we, we all have to make our own decisions. We all have to be, you know, accountable for that. I mean, that is something that's missing everywhere, I mean, including, you know, personal lives and government. Um, but yes, I mean, I, I would make my decisions. I mean, it, it is... I guess you'd say my future that's at stake, you know, and and, and I've had conversations with people, <laughs> it, it, um, so uh, I appreciate that question. You're close. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we got the the big debate to go watch tonight, so we better get out of here. Um, uh, but I guess just kind of like what Ellen said, I've been out there door knocking, talking to voters, and uh, the the normal thing you hear from people is is just. Uh, you know, wow, you know, we're, we're seeing someone out here running for a public office and they're out here working, you know, and, and, and that's the same, you know, 
work ethic to take into that office, um, whether it be, you know, I work in landscaping, that's a lot of, of hard physical labor and stuff, uh, but you've got the job, you got to get it done, and uh, that's the same thing I would do in office, so uh, thank you.